Road leaders are trying to strike a balance between food truck operations and nearby downtown restaurants. As Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce explains, city council members were expected to vote tonight on new food truck ordinances, but now they're delaying it to look at the changes of the proposal. While they understand food trucks have expenses, it pales to a brick and mortar. To imply that this is fair competition for us is simply wrong. That's the argument in front of Monroe City leaders. Lisa Boyes owns Main Street Bistro. She's among a small portion of brick and mortar business owners asking for guideline changes for food truck operations, especially when those trucks are outside other restaurants. There's a time and place for food trucks, and in front of our food establishments during our business hours is not the time nor the place. I have four steak tacos and four chicken tacos. According to Monroe City Council members, there are slightly more than a dozen food truck options. A pilot program allowing truck operations within certain guidelines began in 2020. But after pushback early this year, city leaders now have to draw a line. We wanted to make sure that we're providing both opportunities for cross marketing. The ideas being discussed include designated parking areas for food trucks, restricting them from being parked within 100 feet from another restaurant and changing weekend operation hours to 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. Their aim is to avoid competing with other restaurants. Businesses without a full commercial kitchen should not be scrutinized for using food trucks to enhance their sales. Business owners who invite food trucks to park near their places are asking for exemptions of the 100 foot rule. But those owners may need written permission from other restaurants within that threshold for a truck to operate. Meanwhile, food truck owners are stressing to city leaders they're in it for every business to thrive. Daniel Pierce. It brings more people to the town, which is what we're all about. Queen City News.